Hey guys and gals, how's it going? So, I have something very different from anything I've ever really uploaded before. And I know it's been a long time since the last time I uploaded, and I said I was going to quit YouTube and everything, but my friends are talking me back into it, so we're going to see how it goes. Anyway, so, what we're going to do is, I'm planning on working on making a expose for Tobin Motion Z, but... That's going to take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add all the information I've gathered, all the pictures I've taken, all the, you know, screenshots and everything like that uh, of things Turbo Motion Z has said to me, my friends, other people. Uh, dumb reasons people got banned. He banned someone because... They didn't like the AMD graphics card, which clearly shows he's power hungry. But, I mean, this guy truly has a problem. And I'm trying to say that in like the least rude way possible. But, he needs some help in one way or another. But, I just want to bring to everyone's attention who this guy is, why you honestly should not subscribe to him, and if you are subscribed to him, you probably want to un unsubscribe to him. He is just a mess, but yeah, I'm gonna have the over 30, 40 pictures, something around that range of all the screenshots I've taken, things from his YouTube channel, things from Discord mostly, all the stuff he said. And some of it is debatable whether he was joking or not, but knowing who he is and how he is really makes it debatable if it was a joke, because just how he is, that's not something he would joke about. But yeah, uh, let's get into it, I guess. Sorry for the three minute long monologue I had there, but I just wanted to catch everyone up. But yeah, so, here's some evidence about Turbo Motion Z. Peace. I know you understand me. I know you understand me.
video ends, I want to bring up a few things like the fact that Turbo used to make slightly racist content that went up to episode 7, this was 3 years ago, and mind you that Turbo is like 23 years old, which means he was 20 at the time of making this. Which is pretty bad when you think about it. You feel like someone who's 20 years old would be a little bit more, like, accepted, have more acceptance about these types of things. Uh, more tolerance. But it doesn't really seem like he did have that. Uh, on top of that, any of the ones you see that have Keiko Calvex in it, that's me responding to him. Uh, and me being nice to him when he was suicidal and stuff like that, trying to talk him off the ledge, if you will. And then in the end, I just get kicked, uh, with correction, banned from the server. And that's kind of the hilarity of it, I guess. The only reason why I was kicked is because the McSkillet thing was brought up, and he was talking about how McSkillet did a great thing driving down the road drunk uh opposite side of the road one way highway going like 150 miles an hour or 100 miles an hour whatever he was going he was going extremely fast and then took out that family and i do believe he took out a mother and a daughter which that was it that was the end of their lives they they didn't get to live the rest of their lives especially with the daughter being so young and in response to this he just says McSkillet was a hero she deserved to die the little girl deserved to die because she was an ex-Hitler apparently by his words which he could be joking but that's not something you joke about especially with it being a child's death on top of that. It's just not something okay to joke about. So that really shows, even if he was joking, how sick of a sense of humor he has, and just how mentally unstable he is. Uh, like After he banned me, he was like, ha, I got those fuckers and those cunts out. And luckily, a good friend of mine uh, managed to get back into the server after he was also banned. And he was banned because he said that Turbo was getting a little scary. And I was banned for basically saying I was going to unsub to him now because the stuff he said. But. Yeah, thanks to Wild Doggo, we got the information we need. Uh, also, any YouTubers can use any of these pictures here, or any of the content in this video. Uh, if you want to do like an expose on them yourself, if you want to try to get more information, if you're in his YouTube channel yourself, that'd be really great. And maybe we could get Turbo at the very least shown more to the public and more to his fan base about who he really is and the things he says because these aren't these aren't things that are all right he shouldn't be saying these things that he says and also with him being extremely suicidal a dear friend of his told me that he does it for attention and he doesn't actually cut himself or anything like that which is kind of relieving to hear and he said that basically the worst thing he ever really did was run his fingernails over his wrist, uh, imitating cut marks. But even then, that's still not okay, because that could also be him mocking people who do actually have suicidal tendencies and who actually cut themselves. Which is not good either but it's not good with them making fun of it. But, yeah, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Like I said, if any YouTuber wants to use any of the pictures shown here, they're more than welcome. You have my explicit uh, confirmation, whatever you want to call it, to use the pictures here. Uh, thank you, James.
anyone who actually bothered to watch this video and for me to rant on at the end especially. But I'll try to see about making my own expose video, uh, unless a bigger YouTuber, maybe one of Turbo's friends, uh, hop on it first, then, you know, it's up to them, I guess, they'd get more word about it, except, you know, me, I, I probably wouldn't get much word out about it, I'm just hoping this can reach a few people, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, have a good day.